Hi, welcome to my channel and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'll bring a topic about yacht or not, considered of an enduring power of maritime law attorney. Last month, or four or six years ago, there was a reported story of an abandoned yacht left in harbor of Strosen, Sweden. After some two years of searching, the Swedish police were able to trace the yacht's ownership to a wealthy Norwegian man who had forgotten where he had left his yacht. It appears that this wealthy Norwegian had lost sufficient mental capacity through dementia or other disease of the mind to remember where he had to put a valuable asset and had to have a guardian or what we call a retriever appointed to protect him from himself and preserve his assets. Since 1986, when the Power of Attorney Amendment Act was passed in Bermuda, permitting enduring powers of attorney to be used, the need for receivership orders has greatly declined. Prior to the 1986 legislation, one could only use ordinary powers of attorney and when a person lost his ability to manage his own affairs, the ordinary power of attorney became invalid. The only option when a person became incapable of managing his own or his affairs was for a family member to apply to the Supreme Court for a receivership order under a Mental Health Act on 1968. The first is RDA. Receivership order empowers a designated person to take over the affairs of the patient and application to the Supreme Court for a receivership order in complicated, onerous, and expensive as the following documents are required to be prepared and filed. The first is application for appointment of receiver enclosing all necessary supporting and also documentation. And number two is consent of the receiver to act and the consent of other family members who are or may be interested in the patient's estate. And the third is a video of kinder and fortune setting out who the patient's immediate family members are, the assets and liabilities of the patients together with an income and expense report for the pa patients. And then the next is a video with from two physicians who have recently examined the patient and in whose opinion the patient is no longer capable of managing his own affairs and stating specifically what the patient's are medical condition is. And then, preparation to the draft court order for the court's consideration, the applications and the supporting documents and must be served on the patient and proof of the services must be fi filed with the court or an explanation why this was not or could not be done. And the next is file at least annually a full statement of accounts on the patient financial affairs that the past year so one can readily see that avoiding the necessity for a receivership order is not only important but a large cost savings for the patients. And then an enduring power of the attorney or endures who or survives the donor's subsequent mental incapacity and will not become invalid on the donor becoming unable to manage his own affairs through the dementia or other disease of the mind, as would be the case with an ordinary power of attorney. So if you begin forgetting where you left your yacht, 
get an enduring power of the attorney made or immediately before you lose the mental capacity sufficient to execute one. The article was published in the Royal Gazette on June 2014. It is the content of the article is intended to provide a general guide to the subject matter. A specialist advice should be sought after but about your specific circumstances. It is all about the power of the attorney and the law attorney on the maritime subject. And I think it's important for all people who having a, or maybe rich people, because not all people having yachts or boats. I think it is important to rich people <laughs> everywhere to get knowing this law attorney about maritime law. And I think it is very important for all of us to know about the maritime law attorney. Because if we had a yacht and we put our yacht or our boats in the middle of the sea or at the shore, I think it is very, very dangerous and very not good. Because we didn't know what will happen with our boats or yachts. And aside from that, boats and yacht is very, very expensive things. And if people, if people trying to get those boats or those people, rich people, boat or yacht, and they will sell it, and you forget about your boats or yacht because of you are rich people I think it's very dangerous too because your boats or yacht will be renamed with the piracy or the people who stole your boats or yacht and for all of this I think it's important for people to get knowing what is powerful attorney of maritime law and what is the power of having this law of the maritime things and we have to be more careful with our things that you know that are we have we cannot we cannot just letting it go and we um we're not thinking about it and also maritime and also um you know in the sea or in the offshore or beyond the sea there are so many piracy and also there are so many um crimes that happen that we didn't know in here but actually we know that this is very dangerous for people who stay in land if the government did not have a great or the strong powerful maritime law and it will be affecting for all of us who stay in land they will be or the pirate or the piracy or the crimes will be attacking us from the sea to inland and i think it is very very crucial and very dangerous too and people must be more careful about this and we just cannot just close our eyes or we we just pretend didn't know because it is our problems too so thank you for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe